Hey, what's up, y'all? So today is Monday, January the 29th, man. And your boy is done with all of these classes. Uh, honestly, I won a lot of classes, to be honest with you. It was like four total. Um, if y'all want to know what classes I'm talking about, make sure y'all check out the last video because I went over all the classes and what I had to do for all that. Today, I finished up my slingshot class, which is basically a business class. Uh, just just going over stuff like scenarios, like uh, like your fixed income, uh, fixed income meaning like uh, your truck note. Uh, you know this is gonna be the same every week, so this is just an example of a fixed income and uh, your um, your variable incomes, what which they you know they vary like fuel prices. Uh, you know, the amount of money you spend on fuel, that's going to differ, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's what that kind of class was basically about. Um, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, once y'all get here, y'all will go through and y'all know what I'm talking about. So I just finished up my pro maintenance class today, about 30 minutes ago. Uh, maintenance class, uh, self-explanatory, basically, um, you just went over a few things that you know, we need to know about the truck, things that we can fix ourselves, uh, things of that nature. But anyway, this video, man, is about after you finish your classes, after you get up here from Prime, after you get up here to Prime, and I'm going to let that go by. So this video is about uh, after the classes, what do you do, man? So after you finish all of your classes, uh, they're going to give you a piece of paper, right? Um... It's going to say, after you finish all of your classes, send an email over to uh, uh, Prime or, you know, whoever, whatever the email is, blah, blah, blah. I ain't going to say it on here, but send the email over and uh, just use my situation. Of course, why not? But in my situation, I'm a company driver switching over to lease. So uh, it's going to be the same for everybody. Once y'all finish our classes, y'all go send over email. Basically what I had to do, I sent them my driver code. I sent them what division I was in. And I let them know that I was uh, a company driver switching over to lease. So they sent me an email back after that uh, saying that my CBTs were signed off and all that type of stuff. They also sent the link to go to for success leasing so you can sign up and join the wait list for trucks. I did that. They sent that over right away. Um, it didn't even take long for them to send it over after I sent my information over. Um, so now I'm on the list, man. Um, actually, the lady from Success Leasing came in uh, on the business class. She told us that um, our name ain't going to pop up right away because she got to manually go in and do it. And that my name should be on the list tomorrow. Um, actually, I got it pulled up now. If you go on Success Leasing website, you can go on here and see uh, the trucks that they got available. Um, I seen that they added a new truck on here. It's a 2024 Peterbilt. Um, let me show y'all right here. Uh, they only had one. They only had one Peterbilt uh, yesterday or earlier when I checked, and then they added another one on here. But as y'all can see, there are people names beside them. Uh, the only thing that means is people are uh, actively looking at those uh, trucks. So they are not available to anybody else. Um, if they choose to get it, the truck will come off and, you know, we'll go from there. But if they don't get it, um, I guess it'll still be on there and then they'll give whoever's next in line a call. Not many people waiting on uh, the tanker side of things. Um, so, yeah, man. Um, but, yeah, hopefully they get those trucks. I'm not really looking. I really don't want a uh, Peterbilt um, just because of the things I hear about them. Breaking down, a lot of uh, problems with them. Uh, they look good. I actually drove a Peterbilt when I was in PSD training. Um, actually didn't mind it. It was just that space, man, and, you know, that little, that little old refrigerator, bro. Look, let me tell y'all. If y'all are getting a Peterbilt, y'all ain't gonna be able to fit one of them, you know, like a little mini fridge in there, like a regular little mini fridge. 
is out the window. Uh, with those Peter belts, I heard you got to pay like five hundred dollars for a little small refrigerator that's probably about that big to put in your truck for five hundred dollars. Look, I already got a refrigerator that's way bigger than that from Walmart, and it only cost me probably one seventy. You know what I'm saying? And it's bigger. It's got y'all seen my refrigerator? It got the two sections on it. I mean, the freezer part and just the refrigerator part. I already spent money on the refrigerator, so uh, I guess I'm looking for a international. So uh, if it look right, feels right, I'm going with it. Or I can just keep my truck that I already have. So moving on to the truck part of things. So as y'all know, I drove my truck up here, right? Um, as I was in there, I think I act, must have asked a question about the truck or whatever. But anyway, long story short, I just want to let y'all know, if y'all are coming up here, if y'all are switching over from company to lease, you already got a truck. I haven't did this yet, but I have to do this. You still have to clean out your truck. Uh, you got to get everything out of it, just as if you was moving in another truck. You got to clean all this stuff out of that truck, get it out of there, so they can do a uh, inspection on it. Um, I didn't know that um, I had to, you know, basically clean the truck out, get everything out, if I was still keeping the truck. Uh, but I was informed today that you do have to get all of that stuff out of the truck, and uh, you know, so they can do a, you know, a proper inspection, I guess, on the truck or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do that today. The only thing is, my truck is currently over at the uh, detail shop right now. So uh, yeah, they should be giving me a call today. Um, the guy said that you know they should be done with the truck tonight, I guess sometime. But anyway, they'll give me a call about all this stuff. So I guess when they give me a call, finish up with the truck. Um, pull it back over here I'm gonna go on and take all the stuff that's in there and bring it out uh, you know bring it inside what they did say I can keep in there though I can keep the refrigerator in there in the microwave so uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm just take advantage of that keep this stuff in there keep the refrigerator in there because I, I, I ain't gonna lie I ain't, I don't, I ain't got time I mean I got time but I don't want to have to pull that refrigerator up out of there if I ain't getting another truck. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I want to get another truck, but we never know. But uh, I ain't going to run y'all ear off too much, man. This is just basically an informative video. Um, you know, basically just picking up where I left off at, man. Just taking y'all along with me. So, uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hey, man, I guess we go see what, you know, what, what, what comes available to you, boy. Um... Hopefully something nice comes around. Hopefully something nice that, you know, looks good. It makes sense. Um, and, yeah, man, uh, I'm just hoping for the best for myself. Um, I'm, you know, I'm young. I'm out here. I'm trying to – I ain't trying. I'm doing. Uh, just, you know, just starting a business right now. This is, this is a business. Your truck is your business. Uh, you leasing a truck is a business. So, uh, I'm just trying to be successful, man, and, you know, do what I can. Um, I get a lot of comments saying that I, uh, people say I motivate them to get out here and do their thing. Uh, Y'all motivate me to keep going, really. Uh, all the love and support that I get off my YouTube channels makes me want to keep going and, you know, putting out more content for y'all, you know. Uh, I, I like doing this type of stuff. I like doing it, especially with y'all, you know, motivate me to keep going, y'all enjoying the content which leads me to, you know, keep recording and uh, bring y'all on my journey, you know. So that's why I'm doing this right now. But anyway, uh, I already said I ain't going to talk y'all ear off. Uh, we'll get to the next clip. Let's go. Hey, what's up, y'all? So I decided to come over here and just look at the truck uh, while I was over here anyway. But uh, y'all look at, look at Big Bird, man. Dang. They had to fix this part right here. They took the dough off. There's a whole bunch of stuff up in there. I'm gonna have to watch this stuff. But uh, they 
took this whole little side piece off. And uh, I guess they gotta paint it and you know what I'm saying, do whatever they gotta do with it. You know. But uh, anyway, man, I just came over here to show y'all the truck or whatever, and I'll get back with y'all. Man, I didn't even notice they got the steps and everything off of that joint too, so. But uh, yeah, man. It's a lot of work getting done. It is just for this uh, piece to go over here. But anyway. Boy, this sun hitting right here. But hey, y'all, hey, I was just informed that uh, they won't be done uh, painting the truck well, they won't start painting the truck until tomorrow um, and then start putting everything together tomorrow and all that type of stuff like that so i won't be able to uh actually move the truck right now because they got all the parts and stuff uh not assembled to the truck they still got work to do so uh i won't be able to move all of my stuff out of the truck until uh tomorrow or until they get done or whatever uh so this that with the truck as far as like uh, checking uh, and see if they added my name on the list, I did check it. I am number three. I am uh, number three on the list. Uh, two people in front of me already got like assigned, well they not assigned to trucks, but they are looking at trucks. So they have two trucks for them to look at. I'm not sure if they gonna take the trucks or not, but they are pretty brand new trucks, so they may take it unless they don't want a Peterbilt or whatever, you know, so. Uh, so yeah, man, uh, that's that. I'll get back with y'all as soon as we start checking out these trucks or whatever else I gotta tell y'all, man. So y'all stay tuned, let's go. Hey, what's up, y'all? So hey, man, it is the next day type beat and I'm over here in the truck, so let's see what they... Oh, yeah. It's like ain't nothing ever happened, man. Jeez, they repainted this whole thing. Oh, they look new. Oh yeah, they the repairing Big Bird, man. All right, y'all, so as y'all see, man, they got Big Bird, right? They repaired it. They repaired it, man, got it right. Um, I do smell paint in here, though. Um, it actually smells be way better than the smell that usually is in here. Like, they'd be coming out of the events and stuff. Somebody told me to get, like, a, um, somebody to, like, clean the vents or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I do that if I do uh, decide to lease this truck. But anyway, man, we have to clean all of this stuff out of here, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. It is a, it's a mess in here. It is a mess in here, man. Um, got stuff everywhere. I gotta take trash out, all that type of stuff like that. Dang, bro. Y'all, bro. So I forgot the log out of the Qualcomm. And if I do get like a truck or something, this go throw my time off, bro. I'm about to call the laws department and see if they can help me out with something. I know they can't adjust drive time, but I think they can adjust on duty time. So hopefully that'll go ahead and be knocked out the way or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I get back with y'all. All right, y'all. So, hey, man, I just finished cleaning Big Bird out, man. I got all my stuff up out of there. And, man, it's just... It's just becoming real, man. I'm throwing my last little trash away. Last thing to throw away is the shoes, man. Time to throw these bad boys away, man. I'm gonna throw them in there. Man, I miss hard as hell. <laughs> I'm gonna throw them in there, man. Ah, man. It's crazy, man. Let me, uh, let's show y'all Big Bird now. All right, y'all, there she go. Let's get on up in here. I still got a few things in here that I need to get out, but look at that. My mat's gone. Everything in here gone. Nothing in here. I still got to get my vacuum cleaner, of course, my trash can and like my bags and stuff, but oh yeah, I got to get that too, but Y'all, I pulled everything up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I still need to get my paper towels out of here. Uh, as of right now, I'm gonna leave the refrigerator and the microwave in there. Uh, I'm keeping them cereal because ain't nothing wrong with them. Now, so I may or may not eat them. I don't know. Me, I just keep them just 
just in case. But uh, y'all, man, Big Bird is cleaned out, man. I, shit, I just gotta take one more trip in there, man, and yeah, that's it. Um, so yeah, what I had to tell y'all was, so when I was talking to the shop to, you know what I'm saying, set up an apartment to get the truck in to like get inspected, they were saying it could take up to a week uh, for the inspection, you know, to finish if they need to finish, uh, like if they like got to work on something. Uh, they said it's like, I think it's like a week minimum. Like, so uh, I want to get this truck back. Just go, you know what I'm saying? They go have it for a week. So uh, minimum is what he was saying. Uh, he said at least a week. So it's three o'clock right now. I doubt if they call me today. So uh, if anything, they might be calling me tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And if they don't have nothing tomorrow, then I'm gonna have to wait another week because I think Wednesday is like the pay cutoff uh, period or whatever. I think Wednesday is the day that you wanna sign your lease here. Because if anything after that, if you sign your lease, you're responsible for their payment. Uh, I think they're following Wednesday or whatever. So I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to sign no lease after Wednesday. I want to sign the lease on Wednesday. It might be Wednesday or it might could be Thursday. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I know it's something like that. You, you want to sign your lease on a certain day. So you want to be uh, responsible for that uh, truck payment. You know what I'm saying? It's coming up because you got to pay, the, you got to pay for this stuff. All right, y'all. So I just want to clarify something real quick. The information, what I was just telling y'all, um, some misinformation out there or whatever uh i don't know where i got the information from maybe a video or something i can't remember but i was talking to the lease lady today and she was saying that uh that's not true uh if you do sign your lease say on a monday uh somehow they kind of split it up or whatever so you ain't got to pay like their full portion or whatever so that's what she was telling me today uh so just to clarify that uh i guess you can sign your lease whenever uh, I guess they'll do some type of calculations or whatever and you know everything will add up so there's no signing you you got to sign your lease on a Wednesday to or what Thursday whatever day it was you know it's this misinformation out there so I just wanted to be the one to clarify that uh, if y'all watch my videos you know now you know because I thought that you got to sign your lease on a certain date you know so it's not true but anyway let's go but yeah Y'all, Big Bird is cleaned out. Um, I know I'm going to be in it again, but this could be goodbye to Big Bird, man, you know? Um, this is the truck that got me through my journey, man, like when I first started. Um, and in the comments, I've been seeing a lot of people say, get a new truck, get a new truck. I've been seeing some people say, hey, if you're comfortable with it, keep that truck, you know? Um, as y'all can see, this truck has 169,000 miles on it, and it ain't really been giving me no problems besides like the APU, um, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. The only problem I've been having is with the APU. I had to get this APU on her fix twice. Uh, first time it was smoking or whatever, the second time um, it was with the heat or whatever that wasn't working. But I mean, it's working fine now. I ain't got no problems with it. Uh, but yeah, man. This could be goodbye to Big Bird. But anyway, man, y'all stay tuned uh, to see what comes next. I'm not even sure what's going to come next. But, you know, maybe they'll give me a call tomorrow saying they got a truck for me to look at. Anyway, y'all stay tuned for that. Uh, right now, I came over here to the Millennial. Uh, I'm about to go in this shop. Um, I believe I got like two free hoodies I can get. So I'm about to go in there get my little free hoodies or whatever you know what i'm saying and uh uh finish running my little errands that i gotta do so uh, yeah i'm about to go in here and get these hoodies uh i'll show y'all whenever i get them and all that type of stuff like that and uh yeah y'all stay tuned man let's go hey what's up y'all so as y'all can see man i am back in the room uh if y'all can see stuff behind me please don't mind it everything from the truck is in this room but uh yeah so quick update uh i'm back in the room now as y'all can see uh, my hoodies are at the Millennial Building. Um, they're getting like sold or whatever. So um, 
anyway, I'll show y'all those when I pick them up. But anyway, update. Success Leeson just called me like literally two minutes ago. Um, you know, cause I'm, I guess I'm first in line now. Um, I was looking on the computer and the two people in front of me, I guess they uh, chose to get those uh, Peter belts that they was offered. So now I'm, I guess, number one in line. They just called me and offered me a 22 international, bro. <laughs> they called off me a 20, if I want a 22 international. Um, I already got a 2023 international. I, I mean, I don't want to downgrade. I mean, if I'm going to keep an international, I might as well keep the truck that I got. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense because they ain't really been giving me no problems besides the APU, bro. But this fixed now. So to be honest with y'all, to be completely honest, I want a freight liner. I want a freight liner. Um, but I talked to them. They ain't got no freight liners coming in uh, on the tanker side. None. They ain't got no internet. I mean, no, they ain't got no uh, freight liners coming in on the tanker side. Only thing they have is Peterbilts. And honestly, I don't want no Peterbilt, y'all. Um, I don't. And the reason why I say that is because I hear people saying stuff about them, like, it's go break down, you know what I'm saying? You 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 go if you get a Peter, it's like your Peter Bell go break down. Uh like the dash problems, all this stuff be all the digital dash and all that type of stuff be shutting off. Uh having problems with that. And uh, if my girlfriend is with me, that little old refrigerator, I don't think that's gonna do for the both of us. Like I feel like I'm gonna have to I feel like I'm gonna have to pull over and go shopping every other day, you know. Um from what I hear, those refrigerators are small, bro, and they five hundred dollars, bro. I don't want to pay five hundred dollars for no refrigerator, bro. Like, come on, man, it's come on, bro. It's crazy, man. I ain't, bro, I ain't got time to be paying no five hundred for no refrigerator, bro. I already got a nice um, uh, mini fridge. I guess it's bigger than the mini fridge and the uh, Peter Bells, but I don't want that, bro. Um, but I, what I don't want to do is I don't want to get a chance to go and look at a Peterbilt and weigh my options out. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't want no Peterbilt. So what it's looking like, it's looking like we're going to have to keep Big Bird, y'all. I know y'all been saying, um, hey, go with something different. You know what I'm saying? Get you something different on this point of your journey, you know. I've been seeing a lot of comments saying, hey, get something different, get something different. I've seen a few of them say keep uh, Big Bird, but for the majority part, I heard a lot of people just saying get something different, bro. Um, but it's looking like we have to keep Big Bird, man. I keep looking right here because Big Bird is literally right here. I just keep looking at it. My thought process is like, man, if I want a Freightliner, it looks like I'm going to have to order one. Ordering a truck. I'm not sure what all that type of stuff. I'm not sure if you order a truck, you got to like pay like extra money and all this type of stuff. I wanted to just get something that they already had here available, but they don't have any. They don't have anything. There's not many trucks coming in for tankers, so it's kind of like a slower, I guess like a slower process or whatever. But So if they offer me a Peterbilt, I will go look at it, weigh my options out, but I don't think I want a Peter Bell. Just the simple fact of people saying that and then there was a small refrigerator in there. I don't know. Just ready to go with a freight liner, you know? I know these videos ain't the normal videos that I do, y'all. Uh, as far as like the, you know, the work part of trucking, the uh, tanker part of it, but uh, I'm just taking y'all through my journey of uh, upgrade is a lease operator now, company to lease. So, yeah, I'm just taking y'all through that journey with me, man, and um, hopefully y'all enjoy this content. I'm sure for, like, the new people that's coming in, uh, this information will be helpful for y'all. Uh, and, you know, y'all watch my process of going through. So, when, as you're looking at this video, um, y'all will know what to kind of look for, um, or I guess I don't know. <laughs> I'm just taking y'all through my journey, man. I'm looking through this reefer, though. All I see is 2025 freight liners, 2025, 2025, 
brand new trucks. I see a 2022, I see one 2022, I see like three 2023s, two 2024s, and rest 2025s. And I see a Kenworth, 2023 Kenworth, 89,000 miles on it. But uh, everything else is brand new Freightliners, bro, <laughs> for the reefer side. All right, so another update, y'all. Um, what I was thinking about, like I said, I was thinking about keeping Big Bird and then just placing an order for a new truck to come in within like four months, right? Just got off the truck with leasing. They said I got to be leasing with them for 90 days, and then I can place a, a order in for a truck. So, yeah, man. Um, God. Um... It ain't nothing wrong with Big Bird, but I can I, I want something else. You know what I'm saying? Like I just want that other. You know, it's just like I'm not a company driver no more. It's just like I just want something else. But I have no problem with keeping Big Bird. I actually actually like the truck. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a few things I, you know, what I'm saying that can be better with it, with the internationals. Um, but other than that, you know, I mean, I ain't got no problem with keeping it. So. Um, I guess this is my route, man. Um, I'm about to call my dispatch. Let them know that, hey, um, I'm going to keep my truck. All right, y'all. So I just came over here to pick up my hoodies, man. And boy, do it. Look, I got to show y'all what I got on there. Look. Oh, that boy got bands on the road on that bitch. Boy, that's hard right there. Then I got this one, bands on the road, too. Oh. That be hard, boy. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to throw these just on and rock them just. I ain't gonna cap to you. But uh, yeah, man, I got my hoodies, man. Um, you know, I got those two hoodies for free in the Prime store. Uh, I think for being with them for a year, I got the two hoodies. I got a hat. Uh, that was it for this time. I think that was for being with them for a year. Uh, I think last time I think it was like six months of safe driving or or something like that. I can't remember. I, I got a hat for that. I think it was a shirt. I can't really remember, but uh, yeah, y'all. Uh, you know, hey, let me know how y'all like them hoodies, man. I let me know, man. Them just hard to me, but Vez on the road, man. I got my got my name on there. I was just gonna put Vez, but I was like, nah, go Vez on the road, man. Vez on the road. But them just came out. They look good, though. They look pretty good on there. Uh, anyway, quick update. Um, I called the shop. I set up a inspection appointment. And that is 630, 645. I can't really remember what he said because I didn't write it down. But I know it's like 630, 645. Somewhere around there. So, uh, I'm going to be uh, bringing Big Bird over here to get an inspection. Not sure how long it's gonna take. I think he said like two hours or something. I don't know. Uh, I, I already ran this truck through the wash, so you know it's already clean. Um, I do still need to get them to like spray. Somebody was telling me to get them to like clean the, the air vents or whatever, because that the smell that comes out of the truck. But anyway, I catch y'all in the next clip, man. Let's go. All right, y'all. So I am here at the shop right now. Uh, they're actually about to do a inspection on the truck. He's in there now. He's just now getting started. Oh yeah, we got the hoodie on. Anyway, let me. Uh, they're about to do this inspection. I get back with y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? So hey, man. Hey, look. Hey, I know my hands dirty, y'all, but I just got a call from Success Leasing, right? And uh, they say they got a Peterbilt ready. And uh, y'all ain't gonna lie, this truck look good, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Look at it. Ooh, wee. A great Peterbilt, y'all. I'm talking about, I got the big door on the side. You know. Can y'all see me in this thing, man? Let me know if y'all can see me in this, man. Ooh. That trying to look good, too. Ooh wee. Yeah, this this uh definitely be the international y'all. I haven't been in it, y'all. We've been trying to ride around, try to find her, you know, trying to find out where it's at. Oh, look at that catwalk. The catwalk's so big, man. Jesus. 
anyway man let's get uh let's get in here and take a look at it all right let's take a look in here man oh the dough smooth boy oh my god look at the seats bro oh my god yo yo the digital dash oh we i'm gonna set my stuff right there yo look at this y'all dang bro look at the i got a place to put my microwave bro the microwave can go there the freaking bunk goes up and i got and i still get the big window right oh yeah Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, and it feel. Ooh, man, what the refrigerator go in here though? How you open these things up? Oh, bro, this is nice, right, bro? With the mirror, dog. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. I might have to get the Pete, man. I might have to go Peterbilt, y'all, bro. This my see. It's just a refrigerator, bro. I ain't got no room for no refrigerator in here. Like everything took up. What a mic. Uh, what's this right here? How you open it? Bro, look at the storage, man. Oh my God, bro. The freaking APU stuff is up here, which is smart. Because in my, um, let me open these up. Maybe get a little light. But yo, this stuff right there in my truck in the um, International, the APU stuff is like right here where you put your head at. So it's like you always kind of cutting it off on and off and stuff. So you got to be careful with it. And it got cup holders back here, dog. Dang. Oh my gosh, man. This, I can, I got a, I got a spot for my microwave, bro. I ain't got to put it on my bed every time I leave. Shh, bruh. Y'all, I might have to go peep, man. I might have to go peep, bro. Got the space up here. And it got the little, um, the tire pressure uh, gauge right here. Dang, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This is nice right here. What's, what's this right here? And it got the refrigerator already in it. What? Bro, the refrigerator already in here. Hold on. What? Yo, this refrigerator ain't bad as I thought it was. This ain't bad. I mean, it's still smaller, you know, but I open this up. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's still small, but it ain't. It ain't as bad as I thought it was. I'm about to eat my food. I'm about to call my girlfriend and see what she think about this. I mean, I know it's on me. You know, it's my opinion. She probably gonna be like, well, this up to you. All uh, that type of stuff. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This, this is way better than a freaking international. I can tell you that right now. Um, I ain't even tested out the dashboard or nothing. Hold on. Yeah, I can't find the little button thing that I got to put the code in. Damn, how you put the code on here? As soon as I turn this key, that junk over. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, sh**. Bro, look at the dash, though, bro. I'm just waiting wait for it. Man, look at that, dog. Okay, do I just crank it up or what? Okay, I can't crank it up because I ain't got the code in. Oh, snap. You put the code in right here on the dash? How you do? Is it touch screen in there? All right, y'all. So, hey, man, I'm back over here at Campus Inn, man. Um, 
Hey man, y'all let me know if y'all like that Peter Bell, man. I really do like it. It look good. Uh inside and out, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh but I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Um uh, if y'all think I should get the Peter Belt, man, y'all let me know. Make sure y'all comment down below. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here just so I can get y'all opinion on this, man. Should I go with the truck or should I keep the international? And uh, order a truck later on down the road, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to end the video right here. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the content. We will be picking up the normal content soon, man. Y'all know I'm in the process of upgrading and all this stuff. And thank y'all for bearing with me. But we will, back, we will be back in the uh, regular content or whatever. Anyway, man, if y'all enjoyed the video, like I said, make sure y'all like the video. And until next time, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.